Hi, this is Prasenjit from Informatica GCS. Today I'm going to show the demo about how to create or import unstructured data transformation, which is UDT, into Power Center Designer. So we have a short agenda today. Uh, we, I will just explain why UDT is needed, and after that, how to do that steps, and we'll directly go to the demo. So basically, UDT is uh, actually the form of data processor, which is created in developer client. After that, uh, users may use the DQ mapping in order to complete the data flow. Otherwise, they can export it into Power Center Designer in order to complete the ETL logic. Based on the requirement, uh, we have made this video to show how to get the UDT or data processor into Power Center Designer. Let's go to the developer client to start the demo. So here is a simple data processor. Uh, I have already validated it. It is validated. Please remember, uh, if the data processor is invalid, you may not be able to export it. Uh, so I will from the object explorer simply I will export it as a data transformation service and I'm saving it in the default folder and I'm copying it from DT service DB location to DT32 service DB location okay Next, I will try to import this particular DT service as UDT into Power Center Designer. I have the Power Center Designer already opened. Let me try to create a new unstructured data transformation here. And once I try to do that, I was supposed to get the service name uh, in this drop down list, but it is disabled. Let's solve this quickly. going to close the designer now from the clients dt32 location I will open the command prompt and I'm executing that set env dot bat it is uh, by default present in with all the client installers you should be find this in the same location so now it is pointing to the correct if content master home uh, now I will launch the power center designer from there clients power center client bin pm design this is the exe file for Power Center Designer. So now I'm going to create the unstructured data transformation here. Now it is enabled and I can see all the DT services available in that service DB folder. I can choose whichever just now I have uh, exported and after that I can go ahead and create the mapping. Uh, in fact the mapping can be created in developer client as well and the whole mapping can be exported into Power Center as a maplet or mapping. Uh, which I am going to describe in my next video. I hope you liked that video. We would love to hear from you. Kindly use the below channels to provide your feedback. Thank you.